Gold viewers from around the world. I'm Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and MC for Gold Learning. And today I'm chatting with Dr. Sandy Lee Dennis about her upcoming presentation, Perinatal Mental Health, Identification, Prevention and Treatment. Welcome, Dr. Dennis. Thank you. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for agreeing to sitting down with us and chatting about the presentation. But before we jump into the topic itself, can you tell our listeners a little bit about yourself, your background, and your professional journey? Sure. Um, I'm a professor here at the University of Toronto in Canada. Um, I started many years ago as um, a registered nurse. I did my undergraduate degree here at the University of Toronto. And then I practiced in the NICU, uh, caring for women who had premature babies and such. And then I went and did my master's at the University of Western Ontario. I developed while I was there the breastfeeding self-efficacy scale and the theory. And then um, from that, I carried on to do my PhD at the University of Toronto. Of, where, of which I conducted a randomized control trial to evaluate the effect of telephone-based peer support um, on breastfeeding duration and exclusivity. And we found that mothers who received simple telephone-based peer support were three times more likely to continue to breastfeed to 12 weeks postpartum and to do so exclusively. And then I carried on from that to do a postdoctoral fellowship in epidemiology at the University of British Columbia where I developed an interest in perinatal mental health. And then I finished that and came back to the University of Toronto and started my professorship. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. You have a very extensive background there. Um, now, let us talk a little bit about the topic you will be presenting on. Without giving too much away, um, tell us a little how you got into this, why you think it's important, and give us a little bit of an overview. Yeah, so um, as I said, for my doctoral dissertation, I was trying to improve breastfeeding outcomes. And women really enjoyed the uh, telephone-based peer support. And back in those days, it was in the early 90s, um, there was just beginning discussions around women who are a little depressed after the birth of their baby. So I thought, well, maybe if this telephone-based peer support works so well for breastfeeding, perhaps it would be very beneficial for moms who are feeling a little down and perhaps depressed after the birth of their baby. So for my postdoctoral work, I pilot tested a trial to look at telephone-based uh, peer support trying to prevent postpartum depression among moms who felt sad immediately after the birth of their baby. And we found that um, it did have um, a, had a, an effect. It improved their mood. And so this is something that I wanted to continue to explore further. And that has been a real focus of my research program from then on. I've been doing work regarding um, accurate identification of depressive symptomatology. I've done trials around the prevention of postpartum depression. We've also done trials around how to effectively treat it and to increase reach of the treatment options. And, um, and so that's something that I've been working on for a while. And now I'm moving into preconception uh, mental health. Thank you so much for that. That was very interesting how you um, expanded or took the study from the telephone-based peer support for, you know, breastfeeding to then depression. So that, that was a, you know, very interesting step there. And, um, and yeah, we're looking forward to hearing from you in your presentation. Um, before I wrap up here, what is it that you would like our delegates to take away from this presentation? I think it's important for them to understand that uh, perinatal mental health is something that impacts a significant number of women before and after the birth of their baby, and that uh, this is something that we should be paying significant attention to because it has long-term consequences, not only for the mother, but also her children and the family. Because it's so common, I think it needs to be interjected into our current healthcare systems, wherever we may be. And this talk today is about giving ideas of how we can interject some of um, these strategies so that we can provide um, perinatal mental health across the perinatal period. Very good. I'm looking forward to this presentation. Thank you so much, Dr. Dennis, for sitting down here with me today and chatting. 
Okay, no problem. Dr. Cindy Lee Dennis's presentation, Perinatal Mental Health, Identification, Prevention and Treatment, is part of the Gold Mental Health and the Perinatal Period Lecture Pack. For more information on this presentation and on the other presentations in this lecture pack, please visit goldlearning.com. Thank you all for listening today. Bye-bye.